Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Frank Camacho versus Manuel Torres. Very, very interesting fight. Uh, Frank Camacho, the crank, he's 1-4 in, in his last five fights. He's a plus-130 underdog, 32 years old. Uh, has had some weight issues. He's 5'10 with a 73-inch reach. Um, yeah, a lot of he's he's good when he's given the space. He has a big, big issue on people pressure him and mix up their strikes with the wrestling and stuff like that. He's had, he's had some issues with that. Um, I think his one of yeah. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, Manuel Torres, 12 wins, 2 losses, 4-1 in one in his last 5 fights. His one loss is to Carlos Calvo Calvo. He was a submission 2 years ago. And he's submission, submission, Dana White's Contender Series, KO Strikes. Again, 12 wins, 2 losses. He's only 27 years old, which is pretty impressive. He had 14 fights already. 5'10 with a 73 and a half inch reach. So a thing that makes this fight very interesting, the one win has was Nick Hine by uh Frank Camacho hasn't won a fight in two years, and he's only won one in four. Lost the decision to Drew Dober, it was head kick, knockout by Jeff Neal, and then won one against Nick Hine, and then lost to Dariush. And I'm pretty sure he hurt Dariush in that fight too. Or maybe he did. And then Justin James, a year, almost two years now. Um Finished him really quick. Justin Hay James isn't even in the UFC anymore. But, uh, yeah, had a big, big problem in that fight with him. But, yeah, you got to think, with losing as much as he has, and for the record that he has in the UFC, which I believe is like 1-5, in five, it's it's something bad, 1-4. in four. You got to think he's going to come out hard, but he's going to be smart. Yeah, he's not going to leave a lot of openings. You're going to have to take it from him. And somebody like Manuel Torres coming out and making his UFC debut besides the contender series, of course. He has speed. He has power. And I think he gets another finish against Frank Camacho. I don't think it's going to happen early. I think it'll be later on when he gets Frank tired. I think that's when he's going to be able to hurt him. Um, sorry, I got trapped. That's why you see me keep turning. But, yeah, I think Manuel Torres' successful debut improves to 13 wins and 2 losses. And I think he gets a finish over Frank the crank Camacho. As always, guys, hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on so you understand and you get those notifications when I post a video. And last but not least, put a comment down below. Who do you have winning? How do you have winning? You know what it is. You already know. 